Hi YouTube, this is Patrick, and this is my review of season one to season five <laughs> of uh, True Blood season premiere. Um, and I am, uh, what's the word? Joined. Joined <laughs> with uh, by the other half of Fuzzy Motion. But yes, there is another half. This is Rob. Uh, I'm not dead, although I wish sometimes I were. Not I after wish... watching this episode. Yeah. Okay, no. Last season maybe, but not this episode. We do wish someone was dead. Oh, absolutely. But she's not. Mm. <laughs> anybody. Just anybody. Yeah, now on to True Blood. Um, that was a joke. Yes. Sorry. Um, <laughs> Murder's funny. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, I said in the preview for this show that my biggest problem with it is that these all these characters, and they don't all need the same amount of screen time. I agree. The problem with the episode is that we saw a lot of Andy, who is, you know, quite buff now, I will say. Oh, and, yeah. you know, he showed it off, showed off his ass, his, like, flabby, you know, old man abs and stuff like that. That's great. Totally all about it. He was in the episode for about 15 minutes, though. Give or take. Yeah. There mm -hmm. are other characters on this show there, Alan. Way too many, though. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, did you enjoy the episode? I did. I did. Overall, I enjoyed the episode. I enjoyed the recap because I didn't watch any of the fourth season, and it just reassured me that I wasn't missing much. Mm -hmm. You what? You weren't. I bought the first three seasons. Well, you bought me season one actually, and I bought mm -hmm. seasons two and three. I downloaded season four um, illegally, <laughs> and uh, season five is on its way to getting downloaded illegally. No, I mean, look, this was. I wanted two things from this season. I wanted the number one thing is that if it's going to be trash, be entertaining trash. That's right. This episode was. I'd also like to have those moments like we had with Godric from season two, which is really like genuine drama, which this one didn't really quite have. You know what's funny? You bring that up because that whole Godric scene is like, it, it it's like a memorial to what this show needs more of. It yeah. needs more of those sentimental sort of like. This is really it, and there's no going back after this. I mean, you know, spoiler alert here, you know, they should have killed off Tara. And when they didn't, I remember halfway through the episode, I was calling it. I was like, I know the show, I know the show. Fucking 9.58, whatever time, you know, the, the last couple of minutes are, she's going to pop up at the last second. And then what happened? Right? It's, come on. You, you, don't want, you don't want to know the cliffhanger to an episode. Yeah. You never want to know the cliffhanger to the episode. I, I, I pretty much do. And they, the other thing, I, I watched some of the earlier season four episodes before this show started tonight. Getting a little off kilter with this episode, but there's all these moments where they put all these characters in danger, and it just doesn't matter. It just doesn't <laughs> matter because you know they're going to come out of it alive. And if there's no stakes, no pun intended, then there's no. I mean, there's no. There's no point. Yeah. Um, who thought Sam was going to get killed tonight? No, anyone? No. No. He's got at no. least like twelve lives from the last three seasons. Yeah. You know collecting the green mushroom and stuff. The thing that really bugs me about this uh, this show is, like, you know, it could be a lot better than what it is right now. And, in fact, I remember there were a bunch of times watching, and I was like, was this in the books? You know, I remember, I like, I never read any of the books. I know you're big on I, the books. I, I read, I didn't, haven't read all of them, but I read the first, I think, five or six. Um, and they've just gone off-kilter. I've done Game of Thrones reviews, and I've been Walking Dead, and this basically leans toward the Walking Dead, where it's gone very, very, yeah. you know, off the book. Yeah. Game of Thrones hasn't, but... Um, I've read the Walking books, the Walking Dead books, mainly because they have more pictures than words. Mm. Mm. Speaking of pictures, no, wait, no, I was gonna speaking of boobs, but we didn't see any pictures of boobs. No, uh, well, no, Movie they were very, no, they were very we, tactful at covering up the boobage. Yes, I noticed there that. was, yes, yes, uh, the long multiple hair. Multiple times, long obviously, hair. she didn't sign the release waiver. No, or Eric's extremely hot sister. Oh my God, um, I totally would. Okay, getting off topic. No. Uh, anyway, you know what? All right, let's just go through the characters. Okay. Um, what's going on with Sookie and Tara and Lafayette? Um, this episode, it was like, um, it moved so fast at the beginning, I thought, that it doesn't didn't give it any time to kind of like register yeah. what was going on. Maybe that was their intention to be like, fr you know, kind of frantic, but um, it just, I don't know. It's just, again, because I knew exactly what was going to happen, or I could at least tell, it just didn't didn't work for me. I guess Tara's going to be kind of a fun thing to deal with. I hope he's not going to be mindless. Uh, you were talking about I that. I haven't, shot. well, you know, not being PC here. I was like, she's going to come back. Remember when I said, you know, think back when I was like, oh, she's going to come back as a, as a vampire within, like, you know, the last two minutes of the episode? 
what I really said was she's going to come back as a retarded vampire, you know, with a lisp or some sort of, like, learning disability or just something, you know, like, hey, guys, what's going on? No. Like that. And, uh... Said she seems like she's mute. She's, just, yeah, you know. she's very, um, like, uh, what's the word? Like, uh... Not rudimentary, not primeval. Like she's just, well, she. Well, yeah, that that's exactly what it is. She just she harks on her uh, her instincts more than anything. And uh, okay, if you go that route, fine. But somebody's got to die. I mean, Jesus Christ! I was hoping so bad when when Lafayette was in the was in the the shower tub and he was looking at that razor that he wasn't gonna shave his head. Which okay, great. I was lo wondering what the fuck the thing was on his head. Like he was gonna kill himself. Okay, fine. Get that asshole out. You know. He's way past due. He was supposed to die in, like, what, novel two? He dies at the end of book one. Uh, it's his foot in the, uh, hello? In the car. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Come on! Um, well, I mean, I, I actually I like Lafayette as a character, but I don't want to see... I do, too, um, but... I don't want to see just depressed Lafayette all season. I understand he lost you know, his boyfriend in his cut. Yeah, mopey Lafayette. I mean, he was mopey in season two also, but it was okay, because they made it... Uh, they made it work. Yeah. If they can make it work again, fine. If they can't, then uh, not good. Um, let's see. As far as uh, Sam, I don't know what Sam's gonna do this year. Is I don't really, I don't know. It's it's I guess gonna lead towards some big fight with a bunch of wolves and everything like that. But Hooray. I don't understand. It seems so far removed from everything else. Like a lot of the couple other storylines, I thought, which is gonna yeah. be a problem because they all eventually have to link in by the end of the season. I don't see um, how his converge is actually. Yeah. I really don't. I mean, maybe he'll use his pack to fend off like Russell, who um, we didn't see this episode, but we did catch his. Um, he was being fed dinner. It looks like that actually reminded me of uh, a scene in uh, the first Hellraiser when uh, what's her name was uh, feeding uh, the uncle uh, dead bodies or like feeding the uncle bodies of like you know prospective uh, businessmen and people that wanted to buy the house if you've ever seen Hellraiser you know exactly what I'm talking about but basically he was you know a skeleton Frank Uncle Frank was a skeleton of his former self and he had to be fed um, you know people and they just kinda like she brought him in and then like hit him with a hammer and then like you know he fed on the the blood and the you know whatever else that kinda reminded me of this whole you know Russell subplot yeah I, I don't mind that they're gonna drag out Russell being, you know, we got twelve episodes of the show, so if they're gonna leave Russell off for, I don't know, I mean, maybe even half the season, it's okay as long as it works when he comes in, as long as it lands when it comes in. I, you know what, I, I'm actually it. predicting that uh, what's gonna happen here is, you know, the whole order or you know the higher power, the authority, that, the authority yeah, yeah. that uh, you know Bill and uh, Eric are so afraid of, they're going to be like, uh, Russell's back, and unless you want to handle that alone, because he seems to be the most powerful thing in the whole universe, the whole canon of true blood, so, I mean that, yeah, they they're all going to have to work together. Yeah. You know what I mean? They, I mean, I could definitely go that route, although you predicting that right off the bat here, that might not be a good thing if that comes true, because again, that means it's not a surprise. Well... Uh, unless, I almost even think maybe even the Authority is, is using Russell, also. You know, we didn't really see anything. It's part of why they would, who knows, uh, but I don't know. True. Um, he's really kind of a wild card, which the show kind of needs a wild card like that, but... Um, I think Tara's a wild card. Well, Tara's another wild card, again, and that's why Tara's... I don't mind Tara... I'm, I'm annoyed that Tara isn't dead, like I said bec in but, the preview, because it didn't... It hurts the se yeah. previous season, and it hurts the whole idea that they don't kill anyone, but she should be, I think, some fun and like some, you know, major problem this season. Which at least with Bill and Eric gone, Sookie needs a problem to deal with, along with if if Russell's gonna be off screen at least for the first half. Well here's a good question. Do you need two wild cards? I'm talking to you, MLB. Uh See what I did baseball. There? If, if you, See if, what I did if, there? yeah, I, I did. I don't know if they did. If you don't watch uh, we have a lot of Met fans on our um, yes, Met fans, the Yankees swept them this uh, this uh, this weekend. Went out first night? Got booed, <laughs> got yeah. booed by everybody in the bar. Yeah. Fantastic, nine to one. Anyway, it was a baseball nice. joke. I know people if they're watching True Blood, they might not know it, but that's what that was yeah. for those. But uh, read a book, jeez. Yeah, yeah, exactly. What was I saying? True Blood. Right, not the Mets. Um, True Blood. What else happened? Uh, Steve Newland. Uh, I mean. I don't have a problem with any characters on the show being gay. They did it way yeah. from the beginning, and it's no problem, but it's just so... It was so, again, just so predictable and just so, like, okay. I can almost hear 
the anti-gay people ranting about it, or just the people that are annoyed with it, and then just hear the pro-gay people yelling back at them in the forum. Like, that's what I thought of. Excellent. Not about the show, that's what I thought of. I thought about the arguing after I, it. I could actually hear the gay people going, well, this is out of control. Yeah. Oh, maybe, I don't too know. Too much, man, um, too much. It's just... Um, and again, there's nothing wrong with the fact that the character's gay, it's just it feels like... Um, it just feels so obvious. Um, and I know what Ellen Ball is trying to do. You know, a religious guy, you know, becomes is secretly gay. That's nothing new. Well, it's a double um, whammy, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Basically, him religion is like the vampire, whole yeah. and now he's gay. So the whole allegory the show, they doubled up on it. Yeah. So it's obviously what he's doing, um, and that's fine. It's just uh, again, it's just like a punch that just I don't know. It just didn't land for me personally. It came out over as cheesy. It felt which, contrived. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It just it's supposed to be you know. Alan Ball is gay, so he obviously takes the subject seriously. So it's supposed to be something that you would think wouldn't come off as cheesy, but yeah. uh, it it just it really did. That's that's I think that was my problem with it. Yeah. Um, also, Jessica ran out of Jason's house at the end of season four after banging him. Jason then answers the door to the Reverend, goes through all that, and she comes back in and bangs him. Uh, that, my friend, is an evening. Um, um, that's a booty call. That's yeah, what we call that yeah, in the business. But um, just saying. And Jessica, who, as always, actually does bring... I actually I thought I was going to be more annoyed with her little frat party thing, and I wasn't, because I thought it was actually... A ooh, lot of, ooh yeah, before I guy. forget, before I forget, who do you think um, Reverend's maker is? I'm guessing that it's... Uh, oh, God, what the hell is her name? What, Pam? Pam. I'm guessing well, it's Pam. Pam did drop a line saying uh, that she kind of knew how this was done. Mm -hmm. So that's right. It's possible. I'm um, usually uh, with a show like this, they don't leave it off. That YouTube money, uh, yeah, exactly. Which is just as real as what I'm holding in my hand right now. Mm -hmm. Make it rain. Yes, exactly. No. Um, okay. Listen to that. Um, the and again. <laughs> Love this. Fuck. Yeah. What was I saying? Yeah, so the whole Jessica Jason thing, like it was fun. Uh, I can't tell what they're doing with Jason. If they, it almost looks like they want to regress him as a character, but they don't want to. And like they want him to go and just start banging like all the, um, you know. That's season one, Jason. Yeah, right? it's, they want to go back to like season one, Jason, a little bit, but they don't want to. I guess it's supposed to be character growth. That's fine. How is that? That seems like regression more than. Growth. Well, I know, but it looks like. I mean, regression is like a way where you can do that with the character. You can regress. Be, you're allowed to, I think, regress once with somebody, and then come back out of it. But um, oh, I don't kind of like yeah. Belfour did. Andy, yeah, and he went like, back to the bottle. Well, he went back to he went right to V, pretty much. Yeah, he was an alcoholic, and then it was yeah V. I mean, I don't know. Forget Andy. I don't care about Andy. Um, <laughs> hey, he looks good though. He does look good. Look, he looks, looks good, very though. good. I want to know very what good. his uh, workout is. Pilates. Mm. Maybe, uh... Montan Pilates. Montan Pilates. Working at, uh, you know, the curbs down in Bonton. Terry, another character in the show, like Andy, receiving way too much storyline. Now, yes, is it a little... In I actually, no, no, it no, was... no, wait, time out, time what? out, because it's about time he got some storyline. No, line. he got story... See, so you, you missed season four. Uh, he got an entire storyline in season four that led to absolute bullshit. Uh, so, um... The thing is, at first, I was kind of intrigued about it, and then they kind of answered the question about the whole fires and whatever. Mm. About At first, I was like, ooh, there's something going on here. Maybe something interesting. And then they basically answered it by the end of the episode. Yeah, like, yeah, these guys are burning up, and, you know... It's Rambo. And, yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Which, I wasn't too thrilled or, like, impressed to find out that he was only a private. Like... You know, at least be like a captain or a corporal or like, you know, just like a freaking gunnery sergeant. I don't know, something. Just like maybe even a seaman. Just not a private. You know what I mean? Like it just seems like, you, oh, okay, you walked in like, hey, I'm right out of boot camp and I'm a, I'm a fucking badass. Yeah, well, turns out that uh, it's just not that impressive. Although I was happy to see Scott Foley. Um, from just <laughs> Nobody from, cares. Yeah, yeah, from Scrubs. That's just, yeah, yeah genius. Um, awesome. I hope they give him something to do this season. I, see, I don't know. With some of these storylines, yeah, it could go well. It could. It's possible. I only say that because I say it is possible, but I just I don't believe in some of them or do, most of them. Do you really want another character in this whole universe to, to kind of give their two cents into things when you know, 
what True Blood's all about. They just fucking add them to the background, yeah, man. Yeah, they really do. You know they what really I, mean? Do. I mean? Let's just make a group picture. Just mm, yeah. Google 2002. Woo! Yeah, yeah basically. Yeah. They, there's just there's too many. Um, but it was entertaining. Yeah. Um, I was not bored. Were you bored? Uh, no. Oddly enough, I actually I, I don't want to be bored by the show. That's the one thing. Yeah. If it's going to be, you know, a mess, just don't be a boring mess. No, um, no. And so it, it wasn't. Um, I'm excited. I think there's a lot to be seen here. Uh, I think that there's a lot to be uncovered. Uh, again, didn't watch any of the fourth season, but from what you told me and from what I can piece together, I think this will be markedly better than what they've had. I think that uh, if Alan Ball is listening at all, he should just uh, go ahead and just, you know, strike the axe on somebody, just kill the character. You know what? Nobody, we're going to miss him, but you know what? It's all going to be for a good cause. Although Alan Ball is actually leaving the show at the end of the season. So. Fuck's sake. So, um... What, yeah. what, what is this? What, what what is this? So that's that's. I mean, which hopefully maybe he takes out like people on his way out, but I don't know. I don't think he will. I don't think he will. But um, I don't think we're missing any characters. Are we missing anybody? What do you do? I, nothing. <laughs> um, no, we got pretty much every. Dumb question. Whatever happened to uh, what's his face's brother? He Who? said he killed. Who? Uh, what, Sam's brother. Sam's brother. Yes. No, Alicide's. Uh, Packmaster that Alice Eve killed killed him last season. How? Uh, he had like five of his guys beat the shit out of him. Oh, I knew he was yeah. too pussy to yeah, fucking so shoot him. All right, all right fine. But, okay. Um, no, I think we covered everything. Um, I think that was everybody. No, no, that was everybody. Uh, oh, uh, by the way, when I saw the whole little brother sister thing, I don't know. You don't really watch Game of Thrones, but incest is a big thing on Game of Thrones, and that wasn't quite incest on this show, but it just made me think of. You know, I knew right Thrones away when they had different accents it wasn't an incest I was like oh no 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 wait time out there's a vamp they vampirical spent, explanation to all yeah, of this uh, they spent years apart though so uh, you, you, you take the accent of where you live so although Eric hasn't taken the accent of Louisiana so that renders my point there you go moot well we don't actually we don't, maybe he spent nah fuck it <laughs> he doesn't have his viking accent anymore yeah, so no no, he does. When he speaks very, there. very calmly and subtly. What was she? What was she? British? Yes. She was British. She was British. Whatever. All right. So yeah. So never mind. Forget what I just said. Um, Strike it from the record. Mm. I want the record to show that. Uh, I don't know. I got nothing. Mm. Got nothing. Well, YouTube, tell us what you think. I don't know. Post a comment in the little gray box below. Also, don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you like us, or if you just think we're assholes and you want to tell us on a perennial basis. Also, uh, don't forget that uh, Patrick here and I will be going to uh, Miami for about a week. So if you don't hear from either of us, it's because we're on vacation. Not together on a cruise, not like uh, what's-his-face with the fucking lavender pullover, but we're just going to visit a friend uh, way down in the depths of uh, Miami. Miami. Yeah, it, um, yeah, so it'll just be gone for a week. I will put, I don't know, I don't know how long he's staying for, but at least I'll definitely put another True Blood review up next Monday, I guess. Look forward to uh, a, reveal, uh, a reveal, a review of uh, some video games and things. I'm actually looking to upgrade the, uh, the hardware at my place, which means, uh, you know, all new hardware. sort of things happening. Mm -hmm. Hardware and things uh, going on, uh, a lot more processing power. Uh, just been tough, but uh, now that the summer's come, I have all sorts of time on my yeah, hands. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Mm. So, all right, I think that's it. That's it. That's pretty much that's it. it. Okay. All right. All right. Well, adios, people. See you later. And stop.